you show your shit that you might not know. Welcome, my friend, to be with you. Okay, now that you have uh, <clears throat> created your first application, um, you want to go in. Uh, it'll, <clears throat> excuse me. Now that you've created your first application, it's going to bring you in here to your edit screen. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on here. What you want to do is uh, we're going to basically, this is where we're going to create our database and generate, uh, create our database and our tables. So you can see here, I've already kind of created a <clears throat> database and uh, tables already. Um, so what I want to do here, I'm going to, if you go ahead and open up a text editor, um, and um, easiest way as I found is if you navigate to uh, <clears throat> using uh, whatever text editor that you prefer, um, go ahead and navigate open with the text editor uh, in Web2PY, navigate open up the Web2PY folder, navigate to the application that you created. <clears throat> and if I can kind of illustrate here real quick here. So I'm in my uh, Web2PY, my new app. Uh, I'm going to go back up one. So we're going to go into our uh, models. And we want our <clears throat> db.py file. And if I scroll down here. Let me, uh, so now if I scroll down and you can see right here, here's our database. <clears throat> what you're going to do is you're going to type in db space equals space DAL. That's in all caps. Uh, that means that says uh, your database extraction abstraction layer. And this, <clears throat> what this SQLite is, this will create a local database on the, uh, within your SQ, I mean, within your, web 2 pi application okay and what you want to do is come down here i'm going to leave this on the screen you guys following along you can uh maybe type this in <clears throat> use this as a template to follow i just basically created a cars template uh, a, a cars table i should say so what you want to do is you want to go here you want to type in db here db dot define underscore table and everything is going to be after that's going to be in the open and close quotes. <clears throat> so what you'll do is you'll uh, uh, title give your your table will be the first uh, entry. So the name of the table, and we have a T there just so we can identify that as a table. So we have T underscore cars. <clears throat> Excuse me, and then comma. And the T underscore call cars is in single quotes. Then we have comma. And then uh, you hit, you can either hit enter or um, <clears throat> I just, I hit enter to keep all of my, uh, all the, 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 the format kind of in, in sync. It looks kind of uh, formatted nicely. I can read it and tell what's what. So basically you want to hit comma space. <clears throat> And then you're going to put in your first field. And I call, I wanted my first field is color, the car, the color of the car. And the type of entry that you're going to type in is it's going to be a string. And then label equals T. And you're going to type in open, close parentheses, but uh, open and close single quote. And then color is, that's going to identify this as my label. <clears throat> okay, so I'll give you guys a little time. You can go in, take your time, kind of come up with your own table, or you can uh, create the exact same table that I have uh, listed here. Um, <clears throat> uh, so if you want to pause the video, take some time, jot this down, and then uh, in a minute or so, we'll proceed on from here, okay? Okay, and it's that it's pretty much that simple. <clears throat> this is the first part of our framework. Um, the model uh, model control view uh, <clears throat> layout 
So what you've done is basically created your database and defined a table. Uh, stay tuned, stick with me. And our next portion of this, we will be uh, putting and defining some logic for the table. What we'll be doing is creating the controller portion of our uh, within the framework, the controller portion of our app. Stay tuned and we'll be right back.